how about some barbecue, beer battered onion rings, homemade mac and cheese? Those are all the items on the menu at this week's restaurant featured in Melissa's recipe box. We are taking you to High on the Hog right here in Macon and giving you an inside look at what's smoking, frying, and baking. We have competition style barbecue. We pull all the pork for us to order. Let you sauce it yourself. Got a wide variety of different sauces. With a name like High on the Hog, barbecue ribs, pulled pork, and beef brisket all seem to be popular items on the menu. Order up. The barbecue here is way better than anywhere else you'll find in Macon. I mean, they smoke everything. You get that really good smoky flavor. And really all the sauces they have are amazing. But barbecue never seems quite complete without all the sides. We've got beer battered onion rings. We've got baked mac and cheese. It's just really good. It's just uh, just uh, kind of an old school baked mac and cheese uh, topped with breadcrumbs. And I mean, people really seem to enjoy it. I mean, it is breathtaking. Change your life. Customers like Lisa DeWeese can't seem to get enough. Right after they opened is when we first started coming. We actually would come more often if my family would let me. <laughs> they limit me to about once a week. And when others find something they like, they stick with it. It was pretty moist. It was pretty good, actually. It's kind of smoky. I like the smoky flavor. It's the flavor and the service that keep customers coming back for more. We've got a lot of people that from day one were here supporting us. You know, we've come a long way since we've opened these doors. And joining us this morning, we've got the guys from High on the Hog right here in Macon. We've got one of the owners, Patrick Mims, and yeah. one of the managers here, Matt Anderson. Good morning to you both. Thank you, Melissa. Good morning. Not a problem. So we featured the mac and cheese. I have not yet tried it, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I purposely did not eat breakfast so that I could try this. But tell us, <laughs> where does the recipe come from? Uh, it's just a uh, just an old family recipe that, uh, that we basically got and uh, just uh, tweaked a little bit to more for our customer base and I uh, believe everybody's enjoyed it so far. Now, Matt, is this something that you guys enjoyed like as kids growing up during Thanksgiving and oh, Christmas? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and we've got the recipe for our audience at home, but tell us what all goes into this. Pretty much, you take some corkscrew noodles, you get them boiled up. And then you make your mixture of milk, four eggs, salt and pepper, some mozzarella cheese, some cottage cheese, and some cheddar. You cover it, bake it for 50 minutes, take it out, add you another layer of cheddar cheese, mozzarella, and some breadcrumbs. <laughs> put it in there and bake it for 20 minutes, and it comes out amazing. Oh, it's so good. I'm glad it's you It's really, that. really good. Really cheesy. Now, um, but mac and cheese isn't the only side that you guys offer. There are a bunch of other sides yes, on the menu. Talk about those. We got we got sweet potato fries, sprinkled with sugar and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, beer buttered onion rings. We've got fried green beans up there. Fried pickles. Uh, we also have uh, our vegetables that have uh, like filled peas and green beans that are cooked with organic basis. They're very healthy for anybody who wants to come in that's being conscious of their weight and, you know, it's New Year, so. Okay. <laughs> and Patrick, I know that there are um, several like lunch deals that you guys offer. Mm -hmm. One of you, tell us about that. Uh, it's, it's basically you get one of our smaller sandwiches with a side and a drink uh, every day for five ninety nine, or you can make it a large sandwich uh, with a drink and a side for six ninety nine. Okay, and what would you guys recommend to our viewers at home that maybe haven't gone to High on the Hog yet? The ribs. I'd go with the ribs and the, the big ribs. dog dip. Yeah, that and the big dog dip. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Any particular sauce you'd recommend? I like the miracle sauce. I like the sweet and spicy. <laughs> I like the sweet and spicy too. I haven't had the miracle sauce though. They're all fantastic. All right. Well, thank you both so much for thank being on the show. Much. We thank really appreciate much. it. 